In the 1920s, America was basking in the glow of an economic boom. This prosperous era, fondly remembered as the Roaring Twenties, was a time of remarkable progress and boundless optimism. The scars of the First World War were healing, and the nation was experiencing unprecedented economic growth. A new wave of consumerism swept the country, and the allure of the American dream seemed within everyone's grasp. This was an era characterized by the belief that anyone could strike it rich quick. The stock market was the playground of the ambitious, with people from all walks of life wagering their fortunes on the promise of easy wealth. Speculation was rife, and many believed the boom times would last forever. But, as we know, all that glitters is not gold. Beneath the surface, the foundations of this prosperity were shaky, and a catastrophic event was looming. The Roaring Twenties, for all their glamour and promise, were teetering on the edge of an abyss. By 1929, the speculative bubble had reached its peak. Investors were intoxicated by the allure of quick wealth, and Wall Street was ablaze with a feverish buying frenzy. Stocks were grossly overvalued, their prices inflated far beyond their actual worth. People were buying on margin, a risky tactic of borrowing money to buy more stocks. It was a house of cards waiting to topple, and then there were the warning signs. Economists and seasoned investors raised red flags about the unsustainable growth, but their voices were drowned out by the roar of the market. Ignoring these cautionary signals, the frenzy continued unabated. Then came Black Tuesday, October 29, 1929. Panic gripped the market. Investors sought to offload their shares, but there were no buyers. The market collapsed under its own weight. In just a few days, billions of dollars were wiped out, marking the start of the Great Depression. The aftermath of the crash was catastrophic. As the shock waves of the stock market collapse reverberated, the economy crumbled. Banks, those pillars of financial stability, began to fail. People's life savings evaporated into thin air, resulting in a surge of unemployment rates. With no jobs to go to and no money to spend, poverty became a widespread, unwelcome guest. The Great Depression was not a distant concept discussed in hushed tones in Wall Street. It reached into every home, every community. Many people found themselves without a roof over their heads, leading to an increase in homelessness. The once bustling cities now harbored bread lines, a stark testament to the hunger that gnawed at the belly of the nation. Despair was the order of the day as ordinary people grappled with a reality that was harsh and unforgiving. The Great Depression was the most severe and prolonged economic downturn in the history of the Western world. The stock market crash of 1929 and the subsequent Great Depression left an indelible mark on America and the world. This seismic event led to profound realizations, chief among them the importance of financial regulation and the perils of economic inequality. In the wake of the crash, a new understanding of the financial system emerged. The calamity underscored the necessity for oversight, leading to the creation of regulatory bodies such as the Securities and Exchange Commission. These institutions were designed to prevent such a catastrophe from happening again, providing safeguards against reckless speculation and fraud. Moreover, the crash illuminated the dangers of economic disparity. The stark contrast between the opulence of the Roaring Twenties and the poverty of the Great Depression laid bare the risks of such inequality, influencing future policies aimed at promoting a more balanced distribution of wealth. The 1929 crash serves as a stark reminder of the consequences of unchecked speculation and economic inequality. It forever changed the way we view the economy and the stock market.